So my friends, it's that time of, well, the year, the month, or whatever, but I've got my latest up to date Scrap Diva new arrival design team haul that I am looking forward to sharing with you. And so let's get started. As always, these will all be linked below and use code urban 10 uh, to save 10%. Um, if you, if you like saving a little money, you know, I do. Um, and just so you know, I don't get a kickback from that. I just really like it when people can save a little bit of money on their craft supplies. So first up we have these Sakura flowers. Um, and I don't know about you, but I have a tendency just to like, I almost said copy cut them all and like just like leave them together i don't usually break these kinds of things apart and just cut um several sheets and then i can just kind of mix and match papers and stuff um and then i don't know if you know this because sometimes i'm late to the scene and these are definitely um this one's like this, this is a huge one but these curb the flower petals i know you probably already knew this this was news to me. Like I just recently learned this. So I, um, I think I bought these in March. So not very long ago. And the last flower dye that she came out with, I was just like sitting there just do, 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 you know, and putting them on my hand and it just worked so well. So I just got this one on Amazon. Um, and I just looked for the, uh, the embellishment tools. And I also found these ones. Obviously those ones are, are more for just like making lines and stuff on, on paper. But uh, yeah, that was just like good things to know. So um, you can get this on scrapdiva.com or scrapdivadesigns.com. And she's good about shipping quickly. So I mean, like I've always been amazed. I order something from her because yes, even though I'm on the design team, there are things that she doesn't send me that I want that I end up buying. Mm. <laughs> so um so yeah, uh, she ships them like the same day practically, I swear, and they come really quickly. This one, this time I wrote the name on the back of each one because last time she did the release, I didn't know the names of things, made things up, decided I kind of thought I knew they knew what they were. I said, we've got a slice of cake. No, it was an umbrella. So this time I did my research. Um, this is the ladybug heart tag and it looks like we have a whole bunch of different things that we can do, but there's the ladybug shapes that all like, you know, the, the wings and the head and then like all the different little pieces that go with it. So this will be really fun to play with. And of course we need the spots, spots on, um, if you want that miraculous situation, a golf cart. And immediately, you know what I thought of with this is she released the, the ladies, um, shirt. What was it? A year year and a half ago or something but there was and then like the water bottle and I thought this could be like a cute little set especially if you're making cards um so you could do the golf cart with the polo shirt and the water bottle and you have like a little sporty kind of scene so bachelorette party on the green I don't know but it could just be really cool this one is one of the bigger dies in this current release and it is a journal page pocket the only one I've seen made is the one that Erica the this lady right here made and Thank it you. looked hey I'm making a video and it looked really cool sorry about that um, and it's like this little window you can like slide things down in here but the one Erica did she actually put glitter inside of it and in sequins and it looked so cool and then like these shovels they remind me of all the little shovels that we get I don't have a shovel handy right now but like you know, we have all these cute little spoons and stuff that we have, and it just reminded me of that. So it uh, kind of all goes together uh, for, and I know this is supposed to be like gardening tools, outdoorsy stuff, but I was thinking like scooping glitter. So um, that one is going to be legitimately, this one I'm really excited to play with. Um, I've seen Marissa, the pink ape, already make this, and mm, chef's kiss, it's gorgeous. So she just played around with the diamonds. This is actually a mini album, like one of the shape mini albums, but look at those flowers, the flower. It's got such beautiful detail to it. And then on the back you have like the shape that's cut out and then an additional diamond so you can do some fun layering and stuff on there. So this is beautiful and um, such a detail piece that it'll be really pretty. Even if you just cut this out and use it on things, like the, the suggestion is a mini album. The intent is a mini album. What you do with it though and your creative mind is, is your jam. So, um, so pretty. And like I'm imagining like silver sparkle stuff or gold sparkle stuff. 
yeah, so that's going to be gorgeous. And especially with the wedding season coming up, definitely something to use on cards and that kind of thing. This is the paperclip mini album. And this little part right here, it folds and flips and turns into a book. So, um, and then like these pieces, like, you know, it just all goes together and embellishes everything really pretty. And I noticed too, that these are not whole, they're like punch holes, but there's not a place for the holes to get caught up in the die. So you don't have to poke them all out. And I love that. And then there's like the stitching details, all the little um, plant pieces and everything on there, which will be great embellishments for the book. This is the other one I'm pretty excited about putting together. I mean, I'm excited about putting them all together, but they, you know, like you gravitate towards one or two on your own. And this is the doily handbag. So um, back in, I know I keep showing this, but back in, uh, what was it? Around Valentine's Day, I think this came out. Really fun bag or purse to put together. And then there's a little wallet that goes with it that's across the room, so I'm not gonna get it right now. And now we have the doily bag that is the next, um, next, next bag in the collection. So there's a little doily up top here for the handle. And then the, um, this will just make it stronger, reinforce things, and then all the pieces. So I'm assuming you cut out two of each of these and you make your little bag with it. So, so cute. Perfect for like a gift card for graduation or, you know, gift cash, gift cards for weddings, like all that stuff that's coming up uh, this, this summer and this season. And last up, I have the pop-up card right here. And once again, we've got some tools and things that you can pop out here. I'm thinking for Father's Day, you can use these things. We've got a wrench, paintbrush, just all kinds of stuff that you can put together for this pop-up card. So um, I'm curious about putting this one together just to see how it functions. One of the things I think is really fun with Erica's Scrap Diva's dies is that usually I've only had, I've only ever had one die that was so free form that I didn't know how to put it together. But usually if you cut things out, it's really easy to put things together. It becomes very intuitive and very straightforward. So. Um, yeah, all of these dies are linked below and I encourage you to head over to the website, check them out. And once again, if you do choose to use Urban 10, you can save 10% off. Thank you so much for checking it out. And I look forward to creating this month of May with all these goodies.